Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ringler Science. <laughs> From the basement of science. Today we're talking about velocity. Every year when I'm teaching velocity, I get the same question from my students. Uh, Mr. Ringler, aren't speed and velocity like exactly the same thing? And I tell them, they're almost exactly the same thing. Speed is how far you've traveled per a certain amount of time. So it's distance divided by time. Velocity is just your speed and the direction you're traveling. Speed and direction. Since speed and velocity are almost the same thing, let's learn how to calculate speed and then we'll just add the direction. The formula for speed is distance divided by time. So let's look at an example. So let's say I travel 100 kilometers in two hours, I just divide 100 by two. Two goes into 10, five times, no remainder. Fifty kilometers per hour. That's the speed, and if you want to turn that into velocity, just notice what direction they're going. Are they going north? Yes, they are. And now I have the velocity, 50 kilometers per hour north. Well, let's say I traveled 120 kilometers in 30 minutes. Well, I wanna find the rate of speed. So I put 120 into the box and 30 on the outside of the box. 30 goes into 12, nope, goes into 120 four times. So I was going four kilometers Per minute. And that's the rate of speed. If I want to turn it into a velocity, I would mention that they were headed north. And let's say I traveled 30 kilometers in 12 hours. I'm probably walking pretty slow. So I would set that up. 30. I'm going to add a decimal because I think I'm going to need it. Put a decimal below and above. And then I divide that by 12. 12 goes into 30. 24. Remainder of six, bring down a zero, two, point five, I'm talking kilometers per hour. There it is, 2.5 kilometers per hour. If you travel 30 kilometers in 12 hours, you're walking at a rate of 2.5 kilometers per hour. That's your speed. Hold on, 2.5 km per hour. Now that speed, if it were velocity, it would tell you the direction. Oh, you were headed west. Now it's a velocity. There it is, folks. Speed and velocity. So let's go outside now and figure out how fast I can walk. I've set up a course 10 meters long. See, over here, and I put a line over here. 10 meters. Now, I'm going to time myself running from one stick to the next, and then I'll be able to calculate what my rate of speed is. Now, for accuracy's sake, I'm gonna do it three times and I'll come up with an average. I traveled 10 meters in five seconds. So we'll start by writing my distance, 10 meters, divided by five seconds. And so I put the 10 meters into the box, right? And I come up with two meters per second. I was headed west. So two meters per second west. 
Well, that's it for today's edition of Ringler Science. What happened? Why didn't you do it? All right. Me! Hey! Hey! Thanks for coming. Brrr.